Let's take the derivative of x to the root 2. Using our rule, we take the exponent, we move it in front, and we subtract 1. So we have root 2 minus 1. And that's all there is to it. There's nothing different about using this rule when we have different types of exponents. Here's another example. So the derivative of 3x to the pi, we'll take the pi, move it in front, that becomes 3 times pi, and then we'll subtract 1 from the pi. Done. That's our derivative. Now for negative 2x to the e, same thing. We'll take our e, move it in front, so we have minus 2e x, and we'll subtract 1 from e, and we get e minus 1. Ta-da! And finally, square roots are actually exponents. The square root of x is x to the 1 half. So I'm going to rewrite this as the derivative of x to the 1 half minus, here we have 1 over x to the 1 half, and when we have an exponent in our denominator, that's just a negative exponent. So I'm going to rewrite this as x to the negative 1 half. If we can rewrite our radicals as exponents, we can then take the derivative of them using power rule. So let's do power rule, here we go. The derivative of x to the 1 half, we take our 1 half and we move it in front. So we've got 1 half x and then we subtract 1. 1 half minus 1 is negative 1 half. Now, minus x to the negative one-half. Here we have to take our negative one-half, move it in front. Negative one times negative one-half is positive one-half. And we're going to subtract one from negative one-half. Negative one-half minus one is negative three-halves. So we can now rewrite this as one over two times the square root of x because x to the negative one-half moves down to become a positive exponent, and the one-half power is just a square root. Plus one over two x to the three-halves. Now, x to the three-halves is just the square root of x cubed, but we can just keep it as x to the three-halves. It's much nicer. And here is the answer.